everybody. Here we are back in Dory's Gardens where, you know it, inspiration awaits beyond the lavender gates. And everybody's been waiting to see how these smart pots are going to work for the vegetable garden. So today we're going to do it. And this is a dream come true for me for three years. I've been telling people, yes, this will be a vegetable garden someday. Today is the day. It's going to become a reality. So there's all different ways you can plant. You can put it in the ground, which I may someday. But I love these smart pots again. You're up 18 inches off the ground. So I fill this with soil. Each of these um, areas here, see they have ribs, takes a full three cubic feet of soil and then a little bit more on top. So that's an investment, but you, guess what? You don't have to weed it. There's no weeds in there, no gophers, no bugs, nothing. So it's so easy breezy. So I'm gonna set my trusty cup of coffee down and we're gonna get started. So what we do first is, this is a, what I do with all my bedding plants. I dip them in Dory's Dip, which is my own recipe of special organic products. It smells like fish. That's a big part of it, but there's some other things in there too, and it gives a kickstart for your plants. So I love that. And you look at, see like this is getting a little bit wimpy. It needs a drink, but it will perk right back up. So we're gonna put these plants, just throw them in there, get them soaking, some peppers, some of these, I don't even know what that is because I'm really not much of a vegetable gardener, but I'm learning. So tomatoes, I love the plum tomatoes and the little cherry tomatoes, so that's what I buy. So we're gonna soak those in there too. Get them all good. Cantaloupe, oh, watermelon. My chickens mm -hmm. love watermelon. So that's gonna take over the world. So we're gonna kind of control it. You can use, you can um, put maybe not watermelon, but cucumber. Um, things that you wouldn't think zucchini train them up on a trellis so they aren't all over the ground you don't have to worry about stepping on them so anyways we'll get started here so you get the idea so we soak it in there and what happens is you keep it under water till all the air bubbles come out it's completely hydrated it's fertilized you don't have to water from the top to get down to the roots so if you forget to water right away no biggie in fact it's better to let it sit for a day so all the nutrients are soaking in there and it doesn't get watered out. So here's a nice pepper. This is probably a smaller plant than the tomato. Since my son is coming from this way, I'm gonna plant it more at this end of the garden. So think about that too, because some plants may shade the other ones and vegetables, they love the sun. You've got your roots, I always break it up. Just put it in there since it's so loose, you can do it with your hand. And you know, you wanna put maybe a couple different ones together. Um, here's your tomatoes since they're taller. We're gonna go back over here. Okay, so now use something created for a trellis. This one's fun. Let me get behind here. Can you see this growing up with tomatoes on it? It'll be a blast. So you probably have something fun around, you know, a goat panel or an old headboard or something. Use it. Be creative. Make it a work of art. So the tomatoes will grow up in there and that'll be wonderful. And we're gonna show you this garden. Hmm. Maybe every month we'll just show the development of it. So again, dip them. Grape tomato. Those, they're so fun because you just pop them right in your mouth. You don't have to cut them. So anyways, you can you get the idea. Fill it up with whatever you want. Um, here in this little smart pot, well it's not little, but a round one here, I'm going to do all my herbs. So we did that one herb pot that was about this big. I can really fill this up with several different kinds of basil, sweet basil, Thai basil, cinnamon basil, Cuban basil, variegated basil, just have them all until I like basil. So that's a fun way to go. And also, if you do want to do some mint, just get its own smart pot, put it in there and let it just have fun and go all over and put that in your drinks, mix them in smoothies. Okay, you probably heard about marigolds retard the insects. I think they do regardless they look beautiful so you can border out your garden with that dip them in there real good hear those bubbles you're like oh thank you mom i am all hydrated up so i'm going to put those on the border like this so that makes it pretty and they'll they'll get up to about here and then i've been saving this chicken poo all winter so it's mixed in with straw and it's been watered down by the rain um, i do sell this for two dollars a bag but it's fresh right now you have to kind of 
let it break down a little bit or it gets too hot. But um, some people are using it for top dressing around the edges of their garden. And then after it breaks down, they'll put it on the garden. But So this is, since it's been broken down, I'm just going to use this kind of as my mulch. You can see it's leaves from mowing last season, the hay that they were living on. I'm going to put it, can you see this over here, Michelle? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, that just tucks it in. Makes it nice, and as it rains, it's going to get all those nutrients. Well, I'm expecting this garden to explode and feed the world. No, not really. But uh, it's fun for when the kids come in. Hey, you want to try this thing? Pick it off the vine. So enjoy your gardens. Um, you can try seeds. I haven't had much success with those. Some people do wonderfully with it. So you do it your style, your way. But just plant something to eat. It's just fun. And make it pretty. So until next time, we'll see you. Dory's Gardens.